Filke is a poor rural community in the Acacio municipality in the state of Potosi in Bolivia. It is 95 miles from the city of Cochabamba and its access roads are crudely built, often requiring four-wheel drive and a very slow trip. According to United Nations indices, this municipality is classified as having a low level of human development. The approximately 800 inhabitants of the community and the region don't have access to adequate health services because the current health outpost is very old, made of adobe, only contains two rooms and is staffed only by one nurse. Many people of Bilge have died while seeking medical services in the region. Thanks to financing by generous donors, Mano a Mano Bolivia is preparing to improve this situation by constructing a health center with basic services to advance the quality of life for the people of Bilge. The community itself has very limited resources but Mano a Mano Bolivia promotes local empowerment through co-responsibility in all of our projects. There are three necessary funding sources for this project. First, the community will contribute approximately 5% of the total cost and will provide volunteer labor to assist the technicians directing construction. Second, the local municipality of Acasio and the local health authority will contribute 30% of the cost, including transport of materials, and will commit to securing staffing and to providing ongoing maintenance of the site. Third, donors like you will help achieve the remaining 65% of financing for the cost of construction, furnishing with needed medical equipment, and inauguration of the new health center. Staffing will include a physician, a nurse, and a health aide, all contracted and paid by the National Ministry of Health. The local health authority will oversee the operation. With the creation of this clinic and provision of 24-hour services, we expect to see a decrease in maternal and infant mortality rates, an increase in preventative measures, including vaccination, continuing support from governmental health programs, decreased cost to patients of medical care, and significantly improved quality of life in the community and the region. This has been the experience with such projects previously. In the future, we hope to see growth in the medical infrastructure, including ambulances and more medical equipment, and stability in the augmented staffing of healthcare providers. It is only with your help that we can make this goal a reality.